Today I would like to discuss with you how vermicompost can actually mitigate your nutrients losses from pasture. Um, using vermicompost as a soil conditioner will do several things to your soil. First you're adding organic matter, humus, which is storing water, means also urine from urine patches, uh, as well as nutrients from your mineral fertilizer or manure or your effluent you're irrigating onto your pasture. So it's holding this moisture and in the moisture you find the nutrients. Um, as well it is exchanging the nutrients, holding the nutrients itself. It's got a nutrient exchange capacity which we can measure. So it's holding more potassium, more calcium, magnesium. But secondly it's triggering root development of pasture, of grass. Uh, this is done by auxins and gibberellins, which are humic-like acids. So you get more roots and deeper roots. So if you compare with a thin layer of roots and you apply the fertilizer on, the fertilizer and roots is easily washed out of the root zone. If you've got a deeper root system, a stronger topsoil, it takes twice as long before the nutrients are leached out of the root zone. And we believe with vermicast, you can actually come from this stage to this stage. We are applying a soil conditioner, humus, which will add uh, nutrients, humus organic matter to the pasture. Quite often, recently converted farmland uh, from pine trees, from forestry into pasture, is lacking of organic matter. Organic matter is important for uh, soil moisture holding capacity, nutrients exchange capacity, for building soil aggregates of soil structure and as well as uh, interacting as a feed stock or a, yeah, a, feed, a source of feed for microorganisms living in the soil, which then are benefiting the, the plants, the crop like pasture or even maize. With the vermicompost we are applying also worms like uh, young juvenile worms or capsules. So you're kind of inoculating slowly and steady earthworms to your pasture. Especially the compost worms who are living in, in the top two centimeters of your pasture. They are decaying the dead organic matter like the, the old turf, the old grass. And this old grass, this is usually where facial eczema fungi are growing and, uh, and causing this problem. So if you have earthworms in the soil, it's most likely that they control facial eczema far better than any chemical. I want to explain to you why vermicompost and earthworms actually can play an important role in grass crop control. Uh, first, a few things. If you've got a good developed pasture with huge, good deep root system and strong organic matter, you find that the microbes in the soil are more active, you got more variety, this includes fungi, bacteria, uh, nematodes, even earthworms. But there's a kind of a war happening in the, in the topsoil. So everyone is fighting for, for, for um, resources like organic matter, nutrients and space to live in. And so do the grass clubs. They want to feed on the roots. But actually the other microorganisms want to access the same sources. So they are fighting here and they, they are more controlling the population of grass scrub. So if we look at publications where obviously grass scrub is not a big issue, usually these are soils with a healthy soil structure, lots of organic matter and a good population of earthworms. So introducing vermicast and earthworms to your pasture will help fighting grass scrub.